Welcome. Hi, how are you today? Good, thanks. And welcome to the Ontario Festival of Art. And I know who you are because you're extremely popular around the neighborhood in the arts community. But for those who aren't familiar with you, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Yun Tong, likewise go by Momo. Um, I am an artist, a local artist here. Um, I do paintings, ceramics, um, installation art. Um, I was born in China and moved it to the United States about 10, uh, I'm sorry, 12 years ago. So very happy to be here today and showing my work in the Ontario Festival of Art. Okay. And what is your art background? Um, I graduated from San Francisco Art Institute and that was, um, so this art, art institute really gave me this opportunity to take art seriously and um, have this connection to other artists and curators. But um, I started to paint when I was really, really young, probably four or five, as long as, um, I mean, um, when I know how to hold a chopsticks, I know how to hold a paintbrush. So that's how early I started um, doing art. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit, little bit more about your body of work. Um, so the work that I'm showing today is a series of um, work that I um, I was trying to explore the possibilities of um, as a human being to see the micro world. So I created um, a body of um, ceramic works embodying um, imaginary microorganisms, but they're imaginary. So they they even though they look surreal, but they are actually not exists um, in real life. So after making them, I um, I tried to give them names. So um, I treated myself like a scientist, and then I pretend that I discovered all these imaginary microorganisms, and I tried to name them. So it, it, it was really fun experience creating the series of work. So I'm very excited that I'm showing the series of work today. What inspires your creativity? I'm sorry? What inspires your creativity? Oh, um, should, should I, should we do this? No! Um, what is <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what inspires your creativity? Um, so a lot of things, the vastness of nature, the cosmos, and the microorganisms inspired my um, my my art. So most of the what well, the common of those things are they are all from nature. So I know that a lot of contemporary artists they love to focus um, their attention and interest on humanity and um, the society but I just feel like the, the nature side really draws my um, interest and for a lot of my paintings I like to paint um, the cosmos and um, for a lot of the sculpture works I like to do microorganisms or imaginary creatures. Okay. And what is your strongest influence in your work? Is there a person, um, an artist, uh, inspiration, or something you think about? I guess my grandpa is the person who really influenced my art. Um, I grew up with him and he he's a painter. Um, but he never showed any of his work. But he had painted all his life with a um, um, traditional brush and ink paintings on rice paper. And he had a lot of painting experience but just never showed. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I got this inference from him that I know that the process, the, enjoy, the enjoyment of the process is important more than 
um, more than expating them. So for a lot of my work are very experimental and um, process oriented and it's more like a conversation between myself and, and the material. So I never push myself to finish a work that really looks like a um, the image that I original thought or designed. So during the process, I, ch I changed my mind a lot and I tried to listen with the materials and the process told me to. So. Well, how do, you how, do you, how do you define success as an artist? Um, as long as you're, you're always happy with the work that you're doing, not... Um, not like the work that you already done, not, not like anything in the past. So um, there are always, for artists, success means there are always something um, um, that you're doing or something ahead of you that you are passionate about. Okay. I love that, that you, you put it that way. Uh, has your style changed throughout your long life? Yeah, so um, when I started my college, I, I did really representational work so just because I have the skills and I wanted to show off. And until one time a, a professor, um, sh she's a great artist, a professor came to, came to me and said, you don't need to prove to me that you know how to draw and if you you know, if you need the skills, um, you can learn that later. But you just need to find your style, and then you just need to find what really um, moves you. And then I had to do all these researches, or and all, even meditations to um, to to get to get that point. And and. Um, during that time, I brought back the experience when I was very young and I um, was still living with my grandpa and those experiences, I brought them back and then I started to constantly draw that feeling, that inspiration from that experience. Now, how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? Um, I have a an email list and I think this is very efficient um, so whenever wh whoever purchased your painting or your artwork or whoever expressed their interest to your artwork um, and left their email to you you can always ask them oh do you want your email to be um, in my email list and then um, now I have like 700 um, email for eblast <laughs> and then um, so for every exhibitions um, that I have or openings or even a body of work that I just complete I would just shoot an email and say um, hi friends professors and colleagues um, I have this body of work I recently done I'm pretty happy with it and here's the statement here's our here are some samples of images um, I'm seeking opportunities to show them to, to display them things like that and sometimes most of them are um, 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 most of the people who respond are professors and friends, so you will always get opportunities from them. Okay. You know, that's a great tip, and thanks for sharing that. Thank you. Now, what is your connection to Ontario and the surrounding communities? So, um... I don't remember the first time I came to the R Walk, but when I first moved to the SoCal from San Francisco, which is two years ago, I I, I tried to um, look up as much R Walks as I as I can, and Ontario was one of the R Walks that I um, participated in, and just since then, I, I guess um, I have been in. This our community for two years now. So every 
not every, but a lot of art events that I've been participated in, and a lot of um, great artists and the great persons I have known. So I really appreciate that. That leads me to my next question. Mm -hmm. What are you, what are you enjoying the most about participating in today's Ontario Festival of the Arts? Um, definitely knowing the artists and seeing the artists again. So I see a lot of familiar faces and I made a lot of friends. Last year was the first year I've, I, I ever attended. So I made a lot of friends from last year and for this year I'm just so happy to see their face again. So friends and artists. Yep. And I want to thank you for coming out again this year. I love your art and I look forward to seeing you your work for years, for years to come. Thank you. Now that you're an older person now. I'll <laughs> but anyway, hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I know you so we understand each other, but I just want to say thank you so much for coming out thank and you. participating today. Thank you, Michael. Have a great day. Thank you.